What a way to start the new year. A Russian one and three in the junior class. And in a few moments, we will have the World Championship OK final here at Adria Karting Raceway. It is an all-cosmic front row of the grid, but it's possibly not the driver you're expecting. The 2015 world champion, Carol Bash, is back on grid number seven. His Cosmic Racing Department teammate, Noah Millel, there he is, the Swede, starts out of pole. Of course, he is the nephew of the 1996 world champion, Johnny Mislyevich. And there is Uli Stupau, winner of pre-final B this morning for the VDK Racing Team. That's the team that finally got the World Championship that they craved so desperately after their former driver, Stoffel Van Dorn, who does some promotional work for McLaren these days, came second in the World Cup way back in 2011. They won that World Championship two months ago with Victor Martins who will also line up in this race. That was Semi Taufik. And there is the reigning world champion, Petro Hilbrand. He won that title for CRG. Your eyes are not deceiving you. He is in a green Tony cart and starts out of grid number four. A lot of team changes over the Christmas break. And that was probably the most seismic Rasmus Lind, a beautiful run in the pre-final this morning in the Ricardo cart. Starts out of grid number five. Tremendous speed in that TM-powered machine. He's alongside the Swiss-born Brit Clement Novelak in the 204 Tony cart. Clement, who finished second in the Junior World Championships in 2015 at La Conca World Circuit. There he is. Of course, Tony Cart, partnering with the Ferrari Driver Academy. Their 2016 driver, Marcus Armstrong, who lined up for the green team in 2016, racing this weekend in his home country of New Zealand in the Toyota Racing Series, picking up a win yesterday. On the other side of the planet, there's Carol Bash, the 2015 world champion. Didn't have the best run in the pre-final, but watch him from the fourth row of the grid. Another Cosmic on the fourth row, Tail Pouchard, the young French driver. He's been superb. As the 125cc engines are pushed into life. And we get ready to go for the final of the Champions Cup here at Adria Karting Raceway. Two formation laps for these super quick machines. One, two, five cc, direct drive, no front brakes. Light, simple and fast and very, very spectacular. Faster at times than the KZ class. This is the grid. Millel and Dupal, Taufik and Hiltbrand, Lind, Novalak, Bash and Poucher, who you just saw. The Brit Kian Jewis and Lorenzo Travisanuto, the reigning WSK Supermaster Series champion, out of grid number 10, the reigning junior world champion. That's him, Victor Martins, out of 11. Alongside Webster, Tontari for KSM Schumacher Racing, David Vidalis, Noah Watt, William Alatolo, Kyle Collette, David Rosenfeld, Michael D'Orlando from New York, USA, and the Lithuanian, Eustace Yunusis. Matteo Nanini, John Luca Petagoff, Finn Keneally, the reigning junior European champion. Isaac Blomquist, Adam Atecki, the Mexican Sebastian Alvarez, David Schumacher, his countryman Nicholas Cruton, another German, Valentino Fritsch, and in the Evo card, Ilya Pispanen. Kaspar Vescalis, Mikhail Simonov, Yusuf Vega, another German, and the Indonesian from Jakarta, Perdana Minang, rounds out the 34 card field. This will be absolutely spectacular. 20 laps, 26 kilometers. Here in the sunshine, the temperature's barely above freezing, but this will be a white hot race. The first hit out of 2017. New drivers, new teams, quite a few up from juniors. 
a spectacular class. The second year for the OK direct drive category as Hillbrand desperately tries to work some heat into those Bridgestone tyres. Watch for the reigning world champ on the second row of the grid. We go green and Malel leads them down into turn number one. A nice start by the Moroccan Semi Taufik. He's put the Alonso cart up into second. Oh, as he put it up into first. Malel runs wide. He tries to fight back to turn number three. Taufik goes wide, very, very wide. Let's hope that Alonso cart is not damaged. Ulistu Pau in third spot. It's Cosmic one and three. Millel, after a nervous start, leads them through for the first time. Taufik into second. Pau in third. Then it's Pedro Hilbrandt. Looks as though Lorenzo Travisinunto, the Italian in the Zanardi car, has made a brilliant start. I think that's him in P5. We'll check that for you. So they come across the line for the first time. It is indeed the Italian. Kian Jewis, the Brit, he's also made a super start. He's sixth ahead of Lynn Martins, up to eight. Head of Tontari and David Vidalis, the Spaniard. There he is, rounds out the top ten. So Millel already with a nice lead of half a second over the Moroccan. The second Cosmic Cart. Depau in P3. Make that P4 because Hilprand has slid the tiny cart into third position. Sideways on the exit as well. He goes a little bit wide, does the Spaniard. Uses every bit of the bitchman as he makes that move. Let's see if the Spaniard can catch the Moroccan and the Swede in front of him. The Bridgestone tyre is now up to temperature. There's Travis Anuto in the Zanati car. And there is your race leader. Millel, Taufik, Hilbrandt, Depau, Jewis, Travis Anuto back to sixth. Jewis, the Brit, there he is, has just got past. Travis Anuto. Now we have Rasmus Lynn, Martins. Clement Novalak, not a good start for the Brit. He's back to 11th, head of Webster. Kyle Collette, William Alatolo, and uh, the Copenhagen kid, Noah Watt. He's back in P15 as Kian Jewis slides it down the inside. The Brit now up into fourth. Brilliant stuff from Kian Jewis. Let's see if he can put a Union Jack on the podium here this afternoon. He's got Travis Anuto breathing down his neck. His first outing for the Zanardi Kart team. Depau is the one that's lost out in that as Lynn goes through. Oh, Depau's lost another spot, another two spots. Tontari, also Victor Martins. Vidalis is there as well. Rasmus Lind says, get out of my way. He puts the Ricardo Kart up into P6. Travis Anuto just ahead. Kian Jewis in the Forza Racing Kart. Depau tries to recover. Lind, Rasmus Lind, the Ricardo Kart tries to get the place back, but can't. Sandwiched by the Tony Kart drivers, Vidalis. Also Clement Novelak. After that terrible start, there he is. And Victor Martins, the reigning junior world champion, rounds out the 10. Taufik, there's Kia Jewis. What a drive for the from the young Brit. Hilprand, fastest lap of the race, omin ominously in third spot. A 49-point triple eight for the Spaniard. There's Lind in the Ricardo. Malel doing a superb job. Taufik in second, then it's Hilbrand. Then quite a gap back to Kian Jewis, who cannot shake Lorenzo Travisanuto, new factory Zanardi car driver this weekend. Indeed, for the entire 2017 season. Pavel Tontari, he's been superb. He's another driver to have changed teams as Travis Anuto now gets past Kian Jewis. They've both lost a ton of time in that move, though. In fact, Kian Jewis has lost an awful lot of momentum. The driver that we just mentioned, Pavel Tontari, the Finn, racing in 2017 for KSM, Ralph Schumacher Racing, now up into the top five. The rest of the field go through. Petikoff, Webster, Yunusis, Duerlando, Pispanen, Cruton, down in P24. Alvarez, David Schumacher, Perdana Mineng, Matteo Nenini, Teo Pochea from the fourth row of the grid. A dreadful start. He is in position number 29. 
So Taufik closes in on the race leader, Milel. The gap was half a second. You can see for yourself, it's less than that. He's in the slipstream officially. It is 0 0.130. Watch for Semi Taufik to make a move. Not this time. Milel takes a high line, though. He should get good momentum on the exit. But there goes Taufik. What a move by the mighty Moroccan Super Semi Taufik. Down the inside, the Alonso cart now leads. Hilbrand, the reigning world champion. He's right in this as well. Alonso cart, Cosmic, and Tony cart. Malel fights back. The sweep back in front. Hilbrand now in second. Taufik was his time in the lead, short lived. Hilbrand into the lead. Malel back to third. Taufik retakes his place in second. From the lead back to third, he's in second. Hilbrand comes across the line. The factory Tony Cart, the world number one, is in position number one. Travis Hanuto, though, the Italian, he's coming hard in the Zanardi Cart, trying to break up the OTK domination. Pavo Tontari, he's superb also. He's in position number five. He's catching all four of them. As is Uli Stupau in the VDK Racing Cosmic Cart. Vidalis, Jewis is back to eight. Martins and Novalak starting to recover. He's in position number 10. Hilbrand in the Tony cart, being hounded by Taufik, one of the most aggressive young racers there is. The reigning WSK Supermasters champion, but that was in the junior class. As Hilbrand just runs that touch wide, the left rear Bridgestone onto the ripple strip. This was the move for the lead. So as Millel retook the lead, from Taufik, who had about 300 metres at the head of the field. Back live though, Taufik has snuck through into the first position. It's now a four-way fight. As we mentioned, Travis Anuto desperately trying to break up the OTK domination. It's going to be a six or seven-way fight because Tontari is closing on them rapidly. The OK direct drive class, look at Hilbrand, the card fuck as he accelerates as Travis Zanuto now up onto the podium. The Zanardi Kart into third, his debut race with Dino Chiesa's team. For 2017, Hilbrand in the slipstream of the Ricky Flynn Motorsport Machine. He goes wide. Taufik turns in the Alonso Kart. It's working superbly. This is lap 9 of 20, the final of the Champions Cup as Melel retakes third place from Travis Zanuto. Uli Stupau also back into fifth. Travis Anuto, after being on the podium, he's now back to fifth, sixth. Let's see if he got through on Depau. He's got Tontari and Vidalis right behind him in the factory Tony Cart. Victor Martins, the reigning junior world champion, also getting in on this fight. There he is in the VDK racing cart. So first through to eight, there's nothing in it. Taufik, Hilbrand, one and two as we approach half race distance. This is lap 10 of 20 here at Adria, the final of the Champions Cup at the finest kart racing circuit on the planet. This is Adria Karting Raceway, the season opener for the new championship year. Taufik a bit defensive, covers his line, Hillbrand watches every bit of him. The reigning world champion from north of Barcelona in Spain Won the World Championship last year for CRG. Won the KZ2 International Super Cup. He's the European champion as well. For 2017, he is driving a green go-kart. Look how it bucks under acceleration. These 125cc engines have near on 40 horsepower. There is no more clutch, battery, starter motor, nothing that is not necessary. It is back to pure white knuckle racing. It is spectacular, as you can see on your screen. The Moroccan Taufik leads. Hilbrand, Malel. It is still OTK 1, 2, and 3. Travis Anuto trying to recover. He's back in fifth in the, in the Zanardi cart. Tontari, the Finn for the German KSM Schumacher team. He's in sixth as Hilbrand goes down the inside. Nice move by the Spaniard. The Moroccan back to P2. Malel watches on. The Swede who started from pole position. 
leads the similar Cosmic of Uli Stupel, but that's got a Perilla engine on it, and he's driving for VDK Racing. Travis Anuto is the first driver not in an OTK chassis. He's got that Zanardi cart hooked up and flying. P5 for the Italian who only lives around about 100 kilometers from this Adria Karting Raceway. Taufik down the inside. Taufik makes the move, nicely done. It's now a five-way fight for the lead. Millel, Dupal, the two Cosmics in there. There's Travis Anuto. That's the Tony Kart of David Vidalis. There's Clement Novalak coming. Victor Martins, Pavel Tontari is back to ninth. And Kian Dewis rounds out the 10. How good is this? How good is the direct drive OK category? The Champions Cup for 2017. One, two, three, four, and five. Onto the straight for Dallas. Makes it a six-way fight for the lead. Seven laps to go to decide the Champions Cup for 2017. He'll brand the reigning world champion. Leads it from the mighty Moroccan. Taufik up the inside. They are side by side. Hilbrand looks behind him over the ripple strip. Spectacular stuff. And look who's now in P3. Lorenzo Travisanuto in the only non-OTK cart in the top six. The Zanardi cart is now up on the podium. He's in third. He needs to get past the Moroccan Taufik and the Spaniard Hilbrand. Taufik had a big look at the back of the reigning world champion. Hilbrand lowers the blind on the radiator that's feeding air into that Vortex engine, drifts it onto the straight. Here comes Travis Anuto in third spot. Taufik just puts the Alonso card in the middle of the track a little bit to put off the Italian. The Moroccan holding down second. He wants to get past the leader, Hilbrand, but he needs to defend from Travis Anuto, but he can't because he goes up the inside. Vidalis goes off. This race is absolutely spectacular. It's now a nine-way fight for the lead. There is the race leader, the reigning world champion, Taufik. There's De Powell on the inside of Travis Anuto. After looking good for the lead, can he hold on to third? They're side by side. The front wheels bark into the air in spectacular fashion. Travis Anuto with the Zanardi cart. Can you believe what you are seeing? Two, three, and four. Taufik, Travis Anuto. They come across the line. There's Uli Stupau in the VDK Racing Cosmic Cart. Hilbrand, though, he's got 1.5 seconds on the rest of the field with five laps remaining. Travis Anuto is now in second. Taufik, if he's not careful, will be off the podium because Uli Stupau up the inside. The Belgian goes P3. Travis Anuto, there he is in the Zanardi Cart. Ulista Powell, he's been superb. Taufik, from being in second, he did briefly lead. He's back to fourth. He's back to fifth. Malel starts to recover the pole sitter. He's got some work to do if he's to drag that cosmic cart up onto the podium. Four laps to go for the reigning world champion, Petro Hilbrand. He puts down a 49.176. Travis Zanuto has gone one-tenth of a second faster. A 49 dead for the Italian. Clement Novalak, after that dreadful start, the British driver is in fourth. An incredible start to the 2017 championship season. It doesn't matter what color the go-kart is painted. Petro Hilbrand, everything he touches turns to gold. He won everything there was to win last year, including the world championship. He switched from CRG to Tony Kart, and it's just as good for the Spaniards so far. Rasmus Lin there fighting with Noah Watt. There's Nicholas Cruton, the German, going through. They're running out of time to catch the Spaniard. Travis Nuto is giving it his best, though. He's taken another tenth of a second. Adam Ateki, Noah Watt, John Luca Petikoff, Cruton, Pispan, and Pusher, Colette. Finn Keneally, the reigning junior European champion. How good is this field? Finn is only in position 24. The highest level of kart racing motorsport in the world. The WSK Promotion Series. You're watching it live here from the finest motorsport complex in Europe. This is Adria International Raceway. Travis Anuja gets sideways. There's Malil. Taufik defensive. 
kick to Martins. Rasmus Lind. The rest of the field streamed through. That was Noah Watt with the pink helmet. Watt stuck in position number 17. Trying to get past the Swedes. Blomquist, Bebster and Rasmus Lind. A lap and a half to go. Travis Anuto, he's got the lead down. Three tenths that time. Aluster Powell, the Belgians in third. But it will take a disaster to stop the magic man, Petro Hilprand. He just wins everything. KZ2 International Super Cup at Christianstad in Sweden last year. The World Championship in Bahrain. The European Championship in OK last year. That was all with the CRG team. He looks behind him. He's driving a Tony cart and he's on his way to a debut victory for the team from Prevale in Northern Italy. The gap down to nine tenths between himself and Travis Anuto. The Zanati cart breaks up the OTK domination that stretches all the way back outside the top 10 to Rasmus Lin in the Ricardo cart. The final half lap of a spectacular season opener. Hillbrand, everything he touches turns to gold and he's going to take a certain victory here at Adria Raceway. He comes up towards the Panzer Fuel hairpin for the final time. Travis Anuto is giving it everything, but he's going to run out of time. He's narrowed the gap. The final corner, the checkered flag comes out for the reigning world champion. He did it with CRG last year. He has just won on debut for the Tony Kart Racing Team. An incident for Taufik at the top of your screen. It's Semi Taufik walking away from a disastrous end to his debut, open, debut for the season. Taufik and Millel fighting early on. There's Hillbrand. It didn't look as though he had the speed earlier on, but wow, when it counted, did he what? Millel would eventually finish in position number five, the pole sitter and the early race leader. Taufik, he had a great weekend. It didn't finish too well just a few moments ago, as you saw. Hillbrand bided his time, the Spaniard. And as the field started to fight behind him, he took advantage, he pushed back to second temporarily and muscled his way through. And from there, they just couldn't catch him. Great drive by Lorenzo Travisanuto. The Italian is second in the Zanardi cart. And Ulisto Pau, the VDK Racing for 2017, comes home third. This is when the rest of the field was starting to dice. That allowed the Spaniard to walk away with this one. On debut for Tony Kart, he takes the checkered flag to win the WSK Champions Cup, the season opener for 2017. So Hilbrand wins it. Travis Anuto, the Italian second, and the Belgian, Ulista Pau, is third. We will join those three drivers on the podium here at Adria in just a few moments.
to start the 2017 season. Okay, Andrea. What a way to start the 2017 season. The OK direct drive category after its debut year in 2016. A brilliant race. The season opener here at the Champions Cup at Adria Karting Raceway. Wait for the three drivers, Ulis, Lorenzo and Pedro to make their way up to the podium. In just a moment, a superb race. What a display for everyone here at Adria Karting Raceway. Of course, we will be back here in seven days' time. The opening round of the WSK Super Masters Series Championship 2017. Second round at Castelletto di Branduzzo, just south of Milan. The third round at the legendary La Conca World Circuit. And the final at Sano International Circuit, just near Naples. Lorenzo Travisanuto, second place on his debut with Zanardi. Breaks up the OTK domination. Well, as we'll see in a moment, the cart may have changed, but the driver at the front didn't change. Petro Hilbrand, all new for 2017. Not for him, just the colour of his go-kart. He has won again. After this, the KZ2 final, and then we will round out with the final 34 60cc mini drivers. Remember, we started with 104 mini drivers here this weekend, 68 in the two pre-finals, and they will race their final after the KZ2 class in a few moments. So just been advised there's quite a bit of contact in that race. There may have been a few front nose cones di being displaced, so we're awaiting on official confirmation. No doubt about Lorenzo Travisanuto. He finished second. Petro Hilpran won it. And Ulisto Pal for VDK Racing for 2017. The team that won the World Championship with Victor Martins last year. Well, I think we have actually reached our top temperature today of seven degrees. So the drivers make their way up to the podium. The sun is shining. It's still quite cool. And Petro and Ulis join Lorenzo up here on the podium. Smiles on the face. It still takes some time to get used to Petro Hilbrand. We saw him all last year win everything in a CRG. He's painted green in 2017, and he has won again. So third place for VDK Racing from Belgium. Let's hear it for Ulysse Dupau. Second in his debut race for Zanardi Kart from Italy, Lorenzo Travisanuto. He won everything in 2016. He's changed go-karts, but that's changed nothing. The winner of the Champions Cup. Let's hear it from Spain, Pedrito Hilbrand.
like to ask Dr. Cristiano Januzzi of Partner Network Consulting to present the third place trophy to the Belgian Ulysse de Pau. A magnificent second place trophy to Lorenzo Travisanuto. And he's running out of space in the trophy cabinet. The winner, Pedro Hillbrands. The new partner of WSK Promotion for 2017, Avio Milano. The magnificent Avio Milano timepieces to Olis, Lorenzo and Pedro. As we stand by for the national anthem of Spain. Third place, Uli, second place, Lorenzo, and the winner again, Pedro. New colours, new teams for all these drivers. Uli, what a race. What a way to start 2017. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I'm really happy to finish on third spot of the podium for my second race in OK. Uh, I want to thank my team, VDK and uh, Yame, for the engine. Thank you. Felicitations, Uli. Lorenzo, you told me the other day you just wanted to do laps. You didn't care where you finished. Tell you what, second place, not bad at all. No, the outcome was pretty good. Uh, we showed a good speed throughout the weekend and we improved day per, per day. So I'm pretty happy for the start of the season. Congratulations, Pedro. What can we say? Every race, you're on the top step of the podium. Last year with CRG, you've changed go-karts. Nothing's changed. P1 again here today. Yes, I'm I'm really happy. I mean I change I changed the team, new year, new team. So that there is no no better position to start the, the year and let's think on the on the next races, let's think on, on the on the new year and thank you thank you very much to our Tonica Racing team and we are gonna think now on the on the first round of USA Cup uh, Supermaster and we will see what happened there. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Ulis, Lorenzo, and the winner of the Champions Cup, Pedro Hilbrand. The KZ2 final in just a moment.